Welcome back everybody. In this video I'm going to be showing you my new compound bow that I'm going to be shooting this year and uh, I'm actually pretty excited about it. I will be using my Matthews every once in a while but I'm going to be using this one as well quite a bit. And uh, I've shot it a few times and I'm actually super impressed and uh, I continue to shoot it better and better as I shoot it. This is the Glass Harrier compound bow that's made by Creative XP, which is a company based right out of New York State. So that's another reason I really like uh, this bow. So this bow literally comes right out of the box, ready to rock and roll. All you have to do is assemble a few things and you can take this bow right outside and let her rip. It comes with a release, it comes with a quiver, it comes with a stabilizer, it comes with a five pin sight and it comes with an arrow rest as well, whisker biscuit. Although I did alter that on this ball, I'll admit I, I put a drop away arrow rest on this ball right after I got it because I just personally I don't like whisker biscuits. I never have, never will. So I got that, I took it off instantly. But uh, otherwise, it comes with uh, dampeners on your limbs for vibration. This thing's ready to rock and roll and the uh, five pin sight actually lights up which is nice you've got a uh, level right above your pins as well and uh, one of the best parts about this bow is how affordable it is you can get this bow off Amazon for literally two hundred and seventy nine dollars and ninety nine cents set up ready to shoot practically Obviously you have to do a little tuning and make sure everything's uh, kosher, but it didn't take long for me to get this thing shooting how I wanted it to. Uh, everything's totally adjustable. Your draw weight is adjustable. The entire bow uh, itself with four arrows on the quiver only weighs 3.6 pounds. Your axle to axle length is 30 inches and uh, this is adjustable draw length from 24 and a half inches to 31 inches and your draw weight can be adjusted all the way from only 30 pounds to all the way to 70 pounds which is what I have it set on and at 70 pounds your arrow can reach speeds up to 310 uh, feet per second which is pretty impressive uh, for a bow like this. The bow comes in both uh, left-handed and right-handed uh, forms. Obviously I shoot left-handed so I got a left-handed bow. It also comes in uh, black or camouflage. I got the camo version. So uh, with that I want to show you guys shooting it. I have a target set up out here at 40 yards and uh, let's see how it shoots. One thing I didn't mention uh, as well is it's got a 70% let off which is uh, really nice. You know I'm pulling 70 pounds back and as soon as you get those cams turned around you can really feel the let off which is nice can hold it for a pretty long period of time that way. I'll go ahead and show you the target. Trying to shoot this new bow a little bit and there's a bunch of deer coming out up there into the soybeans. Lots of fawns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten deer right there. Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them are fawns. Looks like, oh, there's another one right behind the bushes there. Just shook its head. That's like a nursery up there right now. I'm 
then we got deer coming out right behind me too over here. Let's shoot the bow a few more times here. Well, I've got some uh, fine tuning to do with the bow yet. I just started shooting it. Uh, I do think it's a heck of a buy though for the price. I mean, you really get high quality, uh, a high quality bow for a very reasonable price, which is really the reason that I jumped on this thing. Uh, I want to show, I want to show people that you really don't need to spend uh, thousands of dollars, especially on archery equipment, to have a, a setup that you can go and and be lethal with in the woods. So uh, I plan on taking this out this year and definitely harvesting a deer with it. I'm excited to do so. Uh, I'm gonna shoot it a bunch more and, and fine tune things and get it set up just the way I want it. And uh, I might adjust my draw length a little bit. I had it set at 29. The draw length is super easy to adjust on here. You just take an Allen wrench and you unscrew that and uh, put it in the next screw hole lower and move this up a little bit so you can adjust it. On, on both cams right there and right there. And I think I gotta do that, adjust it just a little bit more. And then I think we're gonna be on the money with it. But if you guys are interested in this, I have a code that you can use, which is KEO Vlogs, and it'll get you 10% off this uh, bow. I'm gonna put the link in the description to the Creative XP's website. And uh, this is also on uh, Amazon as well. So if you guys have Amazon Prime, probably be uh, make more sense to get it off Amazon Prime. These limbs have a lifetime warranty and I think they're made by Gordon which is actually the same limb manufacturer that makes Matthews limbs believe it or not and uh, they're made right here in the USA. So I'm super excited about this bow and you're gonna see me with it in the woods come uh, this fall. Let's go grab my arrows out of the target and thanks for watching everybody.